Hi, this is Kara Gott Warner, and I wanted to say thanks for stopping by my blog today and also clicking through to view this short little introduction um, to two very simple stitch patterns, um, seed stitch and moss stitch. Um, and I'm going to just talk a little bit about both of these um, stitch patterns today um, just to show you the differences between um, both of them. The first one I'm going to talk about is seed stitch. And here's my little example here, as you can see from my swatch. This is, this is knitted up in um, Lamb's Pride uh, Bulky by Brown Sheep Company. And um, the thing that I really love about this uh, yarn is that it really um, lets the seed stitch shine through. It's a very, very graphic look. Um, and um, it's very uniform. And the way that this pattern looks on this yarn, it reminds me of uh, seeds sown on a field. I think that's really very interesting. And the thing that's exciting, too, is that you can reverse the stitch. So there's no wrong or right side to this. Not at all. So there's that. And then our next example actually is the same seed stitch, but this one is done in Taki, um, Montana. It's a roving yarn, so it's a one ply, just like the brown sheep. They're both one ply yarns, but they both knit up quite differently. This one, in my opinion, very, very crisp, size 10 US needle. And then we have our Taki example, very soft though, but it's a, <clears throat> it's a little more muted or softer not quite as graphic in my opinion. This has worked on a size 17 needle, but still the drape is, is really quite nice. So that's seed stitch. <clears throat> and then our next example is uh, moss stitch, but I'm going to stop here and just be very specific about what the version, the version of moss stitch is. This version is American moss stitch. So you might be thinking, well, what's the difference? There is a difference. Okay. So, because many people, I just want to say, many people think that seed and moss are the same. They are, only if you're referring to British moss stitch, which is the same as seed stitch. American moss stitch is a little bit different. And here, here's, a, here's the example, again, in the, the brown sheet. And as you can see, okay, so we're working two rows the same. And what I mean by that is, so you're knitting, and then you, knit, you start your first row, and you knit one, and then you purl one. And then on your next row, you do exactly the same thing. So you repeat what you did on the first row. So what do you have on the opposite side? So you see you've got some, see these two knit stitches? They're one on top of the other, They're stacked very nicely. So that's what you get. And it tends to look like a very elongated stitch, but there really are two. <clears throat> and then on rows three and four, you alternate that. So when you turn your work around, you see a, let's say you see a, a knit stitch, you want to just then do a purl stitch. So you're alternating those every two rows. And so that's what you get. <clears throat> and so I really love the graphic quality that this also creates in the Lamb's Pride Bulky. Um, and you can really, maybe not, I don't know if you can see it, but you can really get that diagonal. There's a diagonal um, effect. Whoops. Let's see how. So it's a, a diagonal effect that's created with this stitch and you can see it's more so in Amer I'm sorry in American moss stitch than you can in in seed stitch. Again, this is also reversible. And then we did this again in the talkie just as the example, but it's not quite as graphic in my opinion. Once again, I think that this one really pops in my opinion. Um, but again, if you're after a softer look, a softer effect, then, you know, the talkie could be the way to go. This is Taki, Montana, if I didn't mention it before. So those are two examples, and they're, they're showing you just how, by changing your yarn, the stitch pattern can look almost entirely different. And then my final example, and before I let you go to view the, or read the tutorial, is um, this is a, this is a two-color stripe, but you really, you can't see the striping effect quite as well, <clears throat> but this is two colors of yarn. There, it's a cream and like a taupey color, and this is an American moss stitch. And it, it, there, it's, this is made in, this is a scarf that I'm starting to work up. It's made in um, this yarn, which is, uh, there's two here, sorry. So we've got this, this Rowan yarn, and this is an SMC variegated yarn. Slight variegation, as you can see. But they're both those, this new braided yarn. 
very hot right now. So if I turn this a little bit, you can see what I'm talking about. Um, it's almost like an I-chord, but you know, it's not an I-chord, but it's got that feel because it's a tube. And um, you know, it's very airy, so it's a really nice yarn to use um, for scarves and hats and that sort of thing because it's really actually it's very light. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so I'd like you to um, have fun and uh, uh, spend a little time reading the tutorial and learning some different ways that, uh, that you can use both um, seed stitch and American moss stitch. So uh, please send me your comments and get in touch. I hope you have fun. Thanks.